Hello and welcome to The Math Show with me, Matt Parker. Today, we're gonna deal with statistics in a significant fashion, particularly lines of best fit. They can take data and tease out trends to help us understand the real world. So hypothetically, we could survey a lot of people about how many episodes of The Math Show with me, Matt Parker, they have watched. On the horizontal axis, we have the number of episodes people have watched of The Math Show. On the vertical, how well they understand correlation in statistics, which is data I've just made up. To investigate what kind of trend it is, we need to add a line of best fit. To do this, you take a ruler. It actually helps if you put it up on its edge so you can still see all of the data, and then arrange it so there's roughly half the data points on each side, and it's as close to the data as possible. Although bear in mind, it's called a line of best fit, not a line of perfect fit. So just do your best, and once you're happy, draw the line in, making sure you go all the way to the left until you hit the vertical y-axis, and all the way to the right until you hit the edge of the page. Little pro tip, when you're drawing your line of best fit, it's very tempting to make it go through the origin, the corner of the plot, where both the horizontal and vertical axes equal zero. But very few relationships are zero at the same time. If we had a plot of the amount of rain against umbrella sales, yes, there will be more umbrella sales when it's raining, but if it's not raining, there will still be some umbrella sales. Now, while there may be some relationships where the line of best fit does go through the origin, will you get a question like that in an actual exam? To find out, we're joined by Carl, an examiner. So Carl, would you write a question in an exam where the line of best fit goes through the origin? No comment. I mean, okay, of course you can't officially say, but given students draw their lines of best fit through the origin without thinking about it, you're not gonna write a question where that's accidentally correct. No comment. Because you're too mean, right? No comment. All right, okay, so, I mean, the moral of the story is, as we've learned from Carl, examiners aren't gonna make your life easy. They almost definitely won't give you a question where you put the line of best fit through the origin follow the rest of the data. Carl, as always, it's been great to see you. Moving on, you'll often be asked to read values off your line of best fit, either going from the x-axis to estimate something on the y, or from y back to x. In these cases, always draw your lines. A lot of people make a mistake when they try to read the scale and get the wrong number off the axis. But if you draw your lines, the examiner can see what you were trying to do and you'll get some marks for the working out. But be careful to not read values from outside your original data. It is very dangerous out there. For example, here is a plot of the men's 100 meter sprinting world records. You can see in 1912, it was up at 10.6 seconds, but by 2009, it was down at 9.58. It's improved by a second over the course of a century. But if you were to continue a line of best fit from this data right into the distant future, it would predict that in the year 3000, the race would be over before it had started. The only way you could win one of these races is if you were a time traveler. You cannot trust your data outside the original range. Finally, you might be asked to give a real world description of what your line of best fit shows. So. For example, you might have to say, this is a positive correlation. As there is more rain, more umbrellas are sold. Or another positive correlation. The more you watch The Mash Show with me, Matt Parker, the better you understand correlation. Or this is a negative correlation. The more you watch The Mash Show with me, Matt Parker, the less you understand correlation and statistics. I mean, that's not gonna be the, I mean, actually, can we see the real data? Just one data point? What do you mean that's me?